with you, sir. Thank you, Prophet. You understand what I'm trying to say? Let me speak with you because I'm saying that you are supposed to be doing a business. Hmm? I tried so many times, but they all failed. I'm seeing you, that's what I'm talking about, that I'm seeing you failing. You try this, you fail, you try that, you fail, until you gave up. True, huh? Prophet, that's huh? true, that's true. So now, I want to encourage you now. Because according to me, you're supposed to be far as I'm speaking. Yes, But there's, there was a lot of delays in your life. A lot huh? of them, a lot huh? of them. Yes, that you Prophet. tried all, all businesses. That's but, true. Huh? That's true. That's but very none true. of them has paid you even a cent. That's ah, very true. Huh? Very true. So I want to pray for you. Another thing, let's pray for your marriage also. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, Prophet. Let's pray for your marriage. There's a spirit that is after your house. And I'm also seeing a spirit of depth. Very true. Huh? Very true. I'm seeing many depths around. It's like when you're trying to do some of these businesses. They end up putting you to debt. Yes, Prophet. Huh? Yes, Prophet. So I want to pray for you so that God must restore you today. And God is going to restore your house also. Thank you, Prophet. You understand my point? Yes, Prophet. Because you... Ash, the way I'm seeing this debt here, it's, it's a problem. Hmm? Yes, Prophet. They are. Hmm? They are. They are a serious problem to you. So, but I want God to help you to overcome all these debts that I'm seeing. And also your marriage. Because you and your wife, sometimes you're having problems in the house. Just like this week. Huh? Just like this week, Prophet. You're having problems. Yeah, very, huh? very hot one. That in a way that if we don't pray for you, it's like, ish. The way I'm seeing it, let me tell you the way I'm seeing it. It will go to a point of you thinking that she doesn't respect you. Huh? It is like that, exactly. Huh? It is like that. It is like that. Yes, Prophet. Because when I'm standing here, I'm seeing the way she's talking to you. Mm. Huh? Yes, so, Prophet. Sometimes she speaks like you're a child. Is the, she's the head of the... Huh? She has like, she's the head of the family. And you are a wife. Yeah, exactly, Prophet. Huh? Exactly. Uh, today I want to pray for you to be a husband. Not a wife. Because what I'm seeing here, I'm hearing her talking now. That she will end up even insulting you. Yes, Prophet. Huh? Yes, Prophet. Is she not insulting you? She is. Huh? She is, Prophet. So I want to pray for you. Let's believe God is going to help you today. And this business that you're doing is like, I don't know, you'll try to apply for tenders. Long time. Prophet. Huh? Yes, Prophet. You try yeah. to apply for tenders. Yes, Prophet, but I just forget about that. I was just looking for something else now. Because you were failing also in that. Yes, Prophet. Huh? Yes, Prophet. So I want to pray for you, and I want God to help you in your marriage. Thank because you. according to me, if we don't pray for you, there will be a divorce very soon. Yes, Prophet. Huh? Anything. Are you not considering a divorce? <sighs> huh? Because... To you, already you are thinking about it, that sometimes the way this woman is speaking with you, you feel like maybe it's better I get someone. But the problem is you're committed. You, you're telling yourself, I don't want to divorce. But the way she's speaking with you, it's like speaking with a young boy. Huh? That's true, Prophet. So I'm going to pray for you, and God is going to restore your house today. And don't, don't, don't leave these issues of business. God is going to prosper you in this. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes, Prophet. And another thing, let's pray for your, for your health also. That's correct, Prophet. Huh? Correct. Let's pray for your health because according to me, you are sick now. Yes, Prophet. Huh? Yes, that's true. So I want God to heal you. I want God to fix your marriage. I want God to give you this, this, this business that you've been crying for. Thank you, Prophet. Huh? Thank you, Prophet. Jesus, man. Jesus, my name. Because this thing is also affecting your eyes. Yes. Huh? 
Because in the night here, you can't see well. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Msim Kulumki. I'm coming from Eastern Cape, East London. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Prophet here, just say exactly the same thing that uh, Apostle was saying there uh, about my health, my marriage status. And the Prophet even told me of that I'm indebted a lot. Fourthly, he said something about my eyes. Yeah, my eyes are aching, especially when I'm trying to read um, closer, even the night. I cannot see clearly, I only see things from afar. Uh, both of them said something about um, HIV status. I'm not afraid to, to just say it out. They are very true. Yeah. I think since 2010, where I and my wife realized that were HIV positive. Then even my health yeah, was affected. Uh, Apostle they even says something about the uh, I'm not sure how, how do I call it, but sort of sores in my stomach that are causing stomach ache, which is very true. I used to think it maybe it's acid or ulcers, but now I know. Mm, I'm happy that um, they picked everything that uh, I was experiencing even before to say them because I didn't say anything they just picked from their spirit and how were these pains and uh, this disease affecting your life they affected me badly because I used to, I used to feel very sick uh, even this arm of, of mine together with the legs you'd be numb and um, and uh, powerless. I think that's what the uh, apostle said. They said uh, this disease wanted to give me a stroke, but now I can see they really were. Especially in 20, 2014, I think I nearly died because I was very sick, but I didn't know. I didn't even, I didn't go to the doctor, but I was sick. And now that they've spoken with you and prayed for you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very relaxed. I'm feeling, I believe that I'm healed. Even now, as I'm standing here before you, I'm shivering. I can feel the sensation moving all over my body. Any words of encouragement to the viewers that are watching? People mustn't give up their life. Immediately they come here, they'll feel a relief that I'm feeling right now. Relief in every part of uh, their bodies being their health, being their relationship with God and lifestyle, and also giving themselves to God. Where is your wife? Is at home. She's at home? Yes. I don't know if Daddy told you, but we need to pray for your marriage. Okay. Because in your life, people, they, they are spirits that are ancestral spirits that have been following you. Okay. And your family. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. And the same spirits are responsible for the problems or the stagnation that you are facing. Okay. In your life. Yeah. Huh? Yes. And again, we have to pray for the spirit of death because... I saw a spirit of death. Okay. Hmm? Yeah. That it's also in the family. Yes. That has been 
killing people, killing people, because now, as you're standing here, I see it's now becoming a worry because people of your family, when you reach to a certain age, death happens to you. It's true. Huh? It's true. And now this thing, it's now your worry because you are approaching that age. It's true. Hmm? It's true. I want to pray for you for those two things because if we can break this spirit of your ancestral, then everything in your household will be set free. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Because I even see that even it, the attacks that they are sending at night it's when true. you are asleep, yeah. and at times you see them. Yes, yeah, true. Because sometimes it's as if there's there's an animal on top of the house. Sometimes it's like these, there are spirits that are chanting around your house. It's something that happens all the time, constantly. It's true. Hmm? It's true. So I want to pray for you so that God can set you free. Amen. From this spirit. Amen. Who sit between you and your wife? Come again. Who is sick between you and your wife? Both. Both of you are sick? Yes. I'm asking you this because I I feel my legs are numb. I don't know if you feel it, but I, it's like, it's like between the two of you, there's a person that feels their leg. They become their legs become their legs become numb. Maybe it's my wife. With yes. time, up to here to the waist. It's my wife. It's your wife. Yes. So I want to pray for you. As God is breaking the spirit, I believe your family will be free. Amen. Can I pray with you? Yes. Close your eyes. You are free. Why are you children? The the other one is in Pretoria and the other one is at home. She left Pretoria yesterday. The reason why I'm asking you is because we need to pray for your children. Yes, huh? man of God. Yes. I'm seeing the enemies after your children. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes. You have a girl? Yes. Huh? The first born is a girl. The first born is the girl? Yes. Huh? Yes. The second one is what? It's a boy. It's a boy? Yes. The reason why I'm asking you about your children is because I heard they need prayer because of the lives they're living. Okay. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. And when I looked at them, it's like there's nothing that is happening in their lives. Yes. Huh? Yes. More especially this one of a girl. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. So now I'll pray for you today. By praying for you, I'll be praying for them. Okay. Because this one of a girl, she's facing a lot of uh, temptations. Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing boys that are playing with her. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. And she needs to be careful. You need to be careful because many people that she's meeting, they are wrong people. Okay. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. So that she must never fall into temptation of sickness. Yes. Yes. She will be here tomorrow. She will be here tomorrow. Yes. You must tell her to be serious with her salvation. Okay. You understand my point? Yes. Because to me, there's a spirit. That's why even you now, they want to make you sick now. Okay. So now, this is... It's, it's like it's a problem of certain want to make it as a problem of the whole family. Okay. You understand? Yes. That they try this. And another thing, jobs. Yes. Huh? Mm. Another thing, we need to pray for them to get. I'm, I'm see. It's like the struggle that you are facing. They're also facing the same struggles. Yes, yes. Huh? More especially the, the the girl. That's that's what I said. More mm. especially this girl. Yes. She's facing a lot of struggles. Mm. But I want to pray for you to break the spirit today. Yes. And even your children, because that's what I heard, that we need to pray for your children. Thank you. And I believe your children. This one of a boy, you, you need to speak with him. Okay. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Because he will end up drinking alcohol. 
He's, huh? he's drinking. Huh? He's drinking. Because when I'm speaking with you, I'm seeing a bottle. I'm seeing him. I'm seeing he, a bottle in front yes, of him. Yes, yes. Huh? He's drinking. But he's I never drinking saw him drinking. But I, I can hear many people tell me. Many people are telling you that yes, he's drinking. Let's yes. pray for him. Because okay. his life is out of way now. Okay. Of drinking and smoking. Yes. So now I believe God is going to... Is going to save your children today. Thank you. You understand me? Yes. And this one of a girl, tell her that marriage is coming. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because she has faced a lot of disappointments. Yes. Huh? Yes. Many people, they were playing with her, and she's a very good girl. Yes, a prayerful lead. Yes, she's a yes. very good girl. I'm mm -hmm. seeing her. She's very good. Yes. But let's pray for her because... Many people that are approaching her, they just want to play with their life. Okay. But tell her that marriage is coming. Thank you. And this Thank one you. of a boy, tell her, tell this boy, he must stop drinking alcohol. Yes. And In Jesus mighty name. You are free. Mama, can you tell us your name and where you come from? Stella Nukeri from Mavele village outside Tanin. And can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Mm -hmm. The men of God prophesied me about my kids that they are facing a lot of disappointment and the illness in my body all is true. It's 100% true. And can you tell us about the issue of illness and for how long have you been having it and how was it affecting you? The illness is asthma. As from 2002, it has been affecting me a lot. I'm suffering. When it is cloudy, I'm, it's very difficult for me to breathe. So now I believe that I'm free. I'm healed. And when you decided to come here, were you believing that God is going to deliver you from this? Yes, yes, I believe that God is going to deliver me from all of all this problem I was facing. Mm. And now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? I'm fine. I'm feeling very fine, 100% fine. Yeah. Any words of encouragement to those that are watching? Mm, they must come to charity. Here at charity, I have seen God. So they must come here and, and witness the power of God in this church. <laughs>